you can raise up. Hey, girl. I've been smoking all motherfucking day. I don't even know what the hell I'm going to do for the rest of the day. Yeah, I feel you. I was minding my business. All right, how you do? Dude, I need to get a fucking mean-ass mutt, like a Rottweiler or something. No doubt, homie. No doubt. I'm about to meet up with the family to raise up something. Lamar <laughs> Davis. Going, what's up? I'm part of the team. Hey, That's what's up. Team? I don't do teams. Uh, Devin Weston's car still a team? The one Frank's running. Oh, oh yeah, that one. Hey, look, I boosted the ride. I'm about to meet your boy Franklin, and I need your ass to pick up the Packer, meet us outside the garage, and we taking these motherfuckers up to Polito Bay. All right, buddy. Fine. That's a long trip.
against the moon. He waiting at the garage. The boost, homie. How'd it go? Any problems? You know me, fool. Yeah, I do know you, fool. So what you think? Smooth as silk. I'm thinking where the blood stains and the bullet holes and shit. Man, fuck. That amateur shit behind me. I'm a professional now, like you and them old dudes. So tell me what happened. I saw the ride. I took the ride. No drama. No security. No one said, who the fuck is this gangly motherfucker doing in my car? Nothing. That's worrying, man. That's some shady ass shit. Man, chill. Line it up on the truck. The final piece of the puzzle. That's teamwork, motherfuckers. Boss man! 
friends happy, then we'll get moving. And this old bust ass nigga ain't no Paul. Enough, nigga, get your ass in the truck. Let's go. Let's get the truck. We'll let obey. Sonora Freeway. Hey, it's uh cozy in here. Scooch up, homie. Yeah, scooch over here. Scooching in that crazy dude? Oh, hell no, nah. that nigga stink. Get over here. I don't bite. That ain't what I heard. All cannibalistic and shit. Frank, what you been telling him? I say what I see, homie. You dig on man meat. Ah, uh, rumor and hearsay. We got a long way to go. I'd get comfortable. All right, nigga, but don't try nothing. How far is it? And this thing? Yeah, about four hours. Shit. It's your operation, Slick. Shit, if you all right driving, I'm going to catch up on some sleep. Go for it. It's all right being the boss. Meant to be running things, but this fool's sleep. Yeah, I'll be asleep when your ass stop talking, nigga. Some boss. Hey, man, where that other dude? The dude that creeped on that dude. Michael, his creeping days are done. Well, what you mean? He stopped creeping? No more creeping for him. He, like, retired from, from creeping? From everything. That's funny, because, like, the boy Frank didn't mention shit about that. And as a matter of fact, I don't even know the dude. But considering the mutual acquaintances we got, I would have liked an invite to the retirement party. There were no party. No party? I use the term retirement euphemistically. Homie. For a dude that kills dudes, and eats dudes, and fuck dudes, you talk fruit. It's unconfirmed. What's unconfirmed? The fact that you talk stupid, or the fact that you do some messed up shit? Or, where the other dudes at? Like, maybe he's dead. The last one. Oh shit, man. Fuck. Do Frank know about this? I don't know if Franklin knows, but let's just let him sleep. Shit. Yeah, it's a bummer. But, you know, he wasn't the good guy he made out. That dude was a killer, a thief, a liar, and irritable as shit. Yeah, a liar. Above all else, a fucking liar. Homie, you sound like some bitch he ain't called. Like, oh, he lied to me. I am some bitch he didn't call for ten years. Fuck, man, he fucked you. The fucker got fucked. Damn, he fucked the fucker himself. Shut up. Man, the first time's always special. I hope he was gentle with you. Enough of that! And enough about me fucking. I don't do that. As a rule. Maybe when I got to LS, I was I was a little overwhelmed by the place. I got a little out of control. But that ain't who I am, for the most part. But the Michael fucked you. Yeah. The Michael fucked me. And the Michael fucked Brad. And the Michael ran off with the FIB. Brad? Who? Who the fuck is Brad? Brad is our boy back from the day. And Michael killed him? Michael got him killed. He died when Michael faked his death. I thought Michael died and Brad was in the pen, when actually Brad was in the ground and Michael was in hiding. And now Michael's dead and it's all okay? Michael's current condition is unconfirmed. I said that. But if he was dead, you'd be cool because of this Brad dude who died whenever. <sighs> yes. Man, I thought you and Michael were tight. So did I. Okay, that make a lot of fucking sense. It's a lonely old road, ain't it? Lonely? Hey, I couldn't say. I mean, not really. A road's a road. It ain't got abandonment issues. Truckers on the blacktop making do? I don't need to make do. I need to make snaps on these rides. Sure. Yeah, the time will come. It's what happens before we get paid is what... Franklin's asleep. It's just me and you. What? What you trying to say? You want me to jack you off or something? Jesus, no. God, no. Of course not. Unless... Man, you's a sick fiend. Just fiending for some friendship. Friendship? Right, whatever, man. It's just... Truckers are a symbol in this country. And a part of its mythology, like cowboys, gangsters, hobos, gangbangers. Truckers are about the unsexiest myth I ever heard. Apart from hobos. Uh, maybe tired with hobos. Freedom. Loners in the night. You know what truckers do? Cut up women and get other dudes to jack them off? 
Come to think about it, aside from not lugging freight around the country, you got about all the necessary prerequisites for a fine career in haulers. No shame in that. If you don't want to get paid or enjoy human contact. Money's bullshit. So is friendship. All right, all right, all right. I see you still touching. How's Franklin doing over there? Ah, uh, dude getting paid to sleep. Don't even worry about him. Ah, uh, the sleep of innocence. So he, like, in charge on this one? You work for him? He's a kind of figurehead. A puppet, if you like. With Devin Weston's hand up his ass. Right up to the elbow. That dude, real shame. Ooh, he's repulsive. But, well, once he's paid us, he can be whatever we want him to be. What you want him to be? I want him to be someone who understands that all the money in the world can't save him from a nasty guy who thinks he's an asshole. Now that's something I want to see. So, uh, tell me, man, how y'all end up meeting? Michael introduced us. Me and Frank didn't exactly travel in similar circles. Nah, I mean the creeper. Michael? Ha! <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Yeah, you know. Sorry, I don't want to reminisce. The wounds ain't healed. You such a delicate little old bitch, ain't you? Where your pussy at? What you got in there? Screw you. That's good. Let it out, homie. Go on, let it out. Then. The turd was probably playing me from the start. Right, yeah. Probably. How you doing? Where? When? All right. All right. Fuck. I was running this small air freight outfit in North Yankton. A tiny operation. There's one beagle I could borrow when I needed it. We were kids. Kids with planes. So, this guy I know says there's this other guy needs some hot cargo moved across the border. Money's good, and I don't know enough to check references, so I'm in. A few days later, I'm waiting on the runway, and I see this dust coming up off the road. Only, it ain't one dust trail, it's two. I got told one guy in cargo. First car comes through the gate, stops, someone comes out. My age. 20, kind of fat but strong in the name. Love at first sight. Yeah, something like that. Other car comes through the gate. Old guy falls out, starts yelling, waving his arms and pointing at the kid. The dude that got Jack? Who fucking knows? Fat guy's running, old guy's shouting. I don't really care. I play peacemaker. Concerned citizen. I get close to the old guy and I pull out this flare gun I'm carrying around, squeeze the thing off in his eye. Shit. That was horrible. We had to pick up the body and dump it in a lake on the way. The thing was still burning in his head when we dropped him. The plane never smelt the same. Both of us threw up when we landed. It was quite a baptism. You ain't never clapped nobody before? Not really. Some deer, foxes, drifters, nothing serious. Ha! Huh. So that was like it? You and Michael rolling on through? Mas o menos. Michael didn't have the nerve back then. I didn't have the direction. Kind of work. Until Michael got his nerve. Until he got it, and he lost it. But that's another story. So, tell me, man, what, what about you and Frank? Oh, hell no, nah, homie. It ain't like that. We ain't like y'all. You know, niggas don't get out like that. I mean, one time we was both fucking this bitch, and I was about to go in, and we kind of, like, touched dicks. But it wasn't even like a slap or nothing. I mean, man, it was like almost like a brush, you know? I mean, that shit, it, it, it wasn't nothing, homie. It, it, it wasn't even, like, awkward or nothing. But j j don't tell nobody, though. That's how you met Franklin. Brushing cocks in an orgy. It wasn't no orgy. Fuck, man, that was a three-way. And Nah, we ain't meet there. Nah, wait, wait, that wasn't Frank. That was JB in a three-way. Frank ain't into that. And he smoked crack now. JB, I mean, not Frank. So there you go. Actually, man, you know what? I don't care where you and JB met or you and Franklin. It was at school, motherfucker. Davis High. Me and Frank was always tight. Lanky and fatty. We were slanging together. Then we was banging together. Then we back to slanging. That's a young man game. You heard me? <laughs> yeah, I heard you. But I don't really care. Never enough for him, man. Didn't want to be a soldier, wanted to be the general. Didn't want to be a slanger, wanted to be the CEO. Running franchises and shit. Who franchising in the drug game? Trevor Phillips Industries is who. Who they? They got t-shirts? It don't matter. All right.
What's happening? Wake up, you dozy motherfucker. One time was on a ride. What you gonna do, oh fearless leader? Okay, shit, I got an idea. Keep driving. I'm gonna take the tricked out JB700 and get rid of the tail. Devin's lawyer said there'd be some new hardware on board. Hey, don't forget the headset, homie. Franklin Clinton. Mr. Clinton, sure. For the record, this falls under attorney-client privilege. Mm, we got that shipment, you know. Cops was all over it, but we lost it. Where exactly you at? Procopio truck stop. Get here soon. We're taking a rise to the truck stop at Procopio. Hey, I'm gonna speak to the legal counsel woman. Get us paid. Yeah, I heard about that CEO patient. Just make sure it's fair salary for the workforce, motherfucker. Yeah! You take it care of. Head back to town. Hey, you said you was gonna get us paid. Hello, Franklin. Yeah, where Devin at? Somewhere meditating or ripping somebody off? In light of the drama your efforts caused, we felt it was not perhaps the best idea for you two to be seen together for a while. Where's the money? Mr. Weston is one of the most brilliant investors the world has ever known. He's obviously a maverick, but he's also rigorous in his research. Yeah, he may be brilliant. Look, let me be the first to tell you. He ain't gonna fall in love with your ass. Now, where the fuck is my money? The best thing that could have happened to you in the situation has happened. He is going to hold your money, invest it in his alpha fund, and make the funds available to you at a time as the transfer will not induce any undue attention. 
which is a polite way of saying I'm getting robbed? Are you fucking kidding me? That is a short-sighted and frankly immature way of seeing things, Mr. Clinton. Let's go. I pooped car and pop motherfucker. Maturity is not really my fucking thing. Franklin. What's happening, Lester? Hey, look, you seen Michael? Man, the contact he set me up with is holding out on the payment, dog. Huh. Uh, let's see. His phone is offline. His credit cards aren't active. This is aberrant behavior. Hmm, last usage is for a flight to North Yankton. There, there was a signal from his cell back in Los Santos, but now nothing. Damn. Is he in the city, dog? Shit, he could be in trouble, huh? I don't know, but it's worth speaking to Trevor. Most likely he was with him in the Midwest. I'll get him to come see you. Shit, all right, homie. Look, send him to my aunt's crib, all right? Checks just cleared! 